Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, the Hollywood conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. So in politics, it is very often about managing expectations. And when it comes to Nikki Haley and her performance in Iowa and her upcoming performance, whatever that looks like, coming up on Tuesday in the New Hampshire primary, um, it apparently for her is all about managing expectations. Now, <clears throat> the governor of New Hampshire is a guy named Chris Sununu. He is a Republican, uh, but he has backed Nikki Haley and hang on, my arm is about to fall asleep. He's back Nikki Haley and uh, and he is starting to manage those expectations. So um, just to recap, some of his comments from the past regarding Nikki Haley and her projected success in New Hampshire. Uh, so back in December, Chris Sununu said, Nikki Haley can give Trump that defeat that no one thought was possible in the next few weeks. And I think that's very likely to happen. Uh, he also said in December, oh, it's an absolute win. If everyone that could vote in the primary comes out and votes, she's going to win in a landslide. And that's not an exaggeration. And even as recently as this month, earlier in January, he said, I think she wins here in New Hampshire. Well, speaking of managing expectations, so after her abysmal performance in Iowa, I'm just going to say it, she and Ron DeSantis both. I mean, I think both of them thought that they would get a little bit closer to Donald Trump, uh, somewhere within 30 points, somewhere within 20 points, somewhere within 10 points, but Trump absolutely blew them out of the water. So after that, and after Nikki's claims, uh, after the Iowa caucus, that it was a two person race, which, um, Nikki, you got third place. So if it's a two person race, you're not in it. You're not invited, honey. Uh, anyway, uh, so Chris Sununu though, just recently in the last few days said, we always wanted to have a strong second. That's the only expectation we ever laid out here. Hmm. Okay. All right. So managing expectations. Look, the next primary coming up after New Hampshire is South Carolina. That of course is Nikki Haley's home state. That is where she served as governor. And then of course, after that onto the board of Boeing and then Trump's UN secretary uh, or UN ambassador. Um, she, I, I have a feeling she'll drop out after New Hampshire. If she, if she doesn't get within 10 points of Donald Trump, I can't imagine her staying in the race. Um, because I think that, that New Hampshire will be a good gauge, a good harbinger of what's to come in South Carolina. And it would be utterly mortifying for her if she lost her home state, which is why I think she bows out. But we'll just have to wait and see. Nikki Hillary, I mean Haley. Uh, you know, a lot of people have made comparisons between Nikki Haley and Hillary Clinton. All right, everybody, head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us. Sign up for my daily emails. Go to my pillow. Use my promo code Hollywood. I'll see you tomorrow.